Welcome back to the lab. Now today what I want to do is dispute Aristotle's view of the natural world. Now back in 300 BC, the Greeks and Aristotle felt that matter had a natural position in the universe. For example, solid matter, like these balls, their position was at the center of the universe. And well, since the Earth was at the center of the universe, all solid matter wants to fall down towards the center of the Earth. That's why objects fall. Now Aristotle also felt that heavier objects had more of a desire to get to that natural state. So a heavy wooden ball should fall faster than a lightweight styrofoam ball and should hit the ground sooner. Now what I want to do is an experiment to dispute this thought and do some mathematics to see if we can predict what's going to happen. So before we get to the experiment, let's take a look at the mathematics to see if we can predict what's going to happen. Now Newton says the motion of the ball is governed by his equation F equals ma, where F is the force acting on the ball, where m is the mass of the ball, and a is the acceleration the ball is being subjected to. Now if we apply some basic algebra to this equation, we can calculate the actual acceleration of the ball. So acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. Now in this case, force is the gravitational force which is actually the weight of the object. We also know that mass is equal to the weight divided by acceleration due to gravity. So that's the weight divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, if we combine these two equations, we get the following. Here's my acceleration equation, weight divided by mass. But looking at the units, I have weight in newtons and mass is newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. Of course, we're going to use SI units here to make things a little bit easier. Now, let's perform some simple unit analysis to see what the equation can tell us. So once again, here's my acceleration equation. I want to apply a little bit of algebra to rearrange the equation. So now I have acceleration is equal to newtons times 9.8 meters per second squared divided by newtons. So that's the inverted mass. Now, if I cancel the newtons, from the equation, you'll see that acceleration is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. The forces fall out of the equation, which also means the mass falls out of the equation. So this shows the acceleration of a free-falling object is constant and independent of an object's mass. So what the math says, my heavy wooden ball should accelerate at the same rate as my lighter styrofoam ball. They should both build up speed at the same rate, and thus they should both hit the ground at the same time. Now, of course, drag comes into play. If I use the wooden ball and a feather, obviously the ball would hit the ground first. But that's not due to acceleration due to gravity or mass, that's due to drag. So I can't do this experiment in a vacuum, so I'm using two balls of the same size and the same shape. So any small amount of drag that's acting on them will have the same impact, the same influence on their falls, so I can kind of negate that. Now obviously we're falling for a very short distance and the velocity is pretty low, so there's pretty low drag acting on these balls. So it really doesn't come into play. So let's go ahead and do our experiment and see what happens to see if we can verify the math and verify that Aristotle was a little off base with his theory on the nature of things. So three, two, one, drop. Okay, second trial, three, two, one, drop. Drop. Well, there you have it. We validated the mathematics that these two objects will fall and hit the ground at the same time, independent of their mass. Now, hopefully you learned a little bit more about free falls, acceleration of gravity, and some physics, and I hope to see you next time on Lab Rat Scientific.